Buenos dias guys. Today we're going to Volcan Isalco, but we both screwed up and we stayed up late and went to sleep late and woke up late and went to the bus station late, so we missed our bus. I'm gonna put the name in the subtitles here so you can see, but make sure if you're going for the morning, because it only leaves once at like 7.30 or 7.40 in the morning, and then the next one is at 11 a.m., and that's when the hike starts. So if you miss that bus, that's a write-off. You either have to take an Uber or go another day. This is our last proper day here, so we're gonna take an Uber. We're gonna have to pay for it. It's not that bad. It's only $20 US or $25 to get there, as opposed to $0.70 cents heat. You know, you wake up late, you pay the price. We'll still go there today, and we'll show you how it looks. And another thing I forgot to mention, we just missed it. Like, we saw it driving by, and the security guard asked some guy driving. He's like, do you want to help them and drive them to the bus? But me, because I'm so paranoid, I think everyone's trying to get me, so I said no. Instead of paying a guy two, three bucks to get to go after the bus, we're going to pay an Uber. 20 to 25 you not everyone is out to get you some people genuinely want to help another thing we took an uber to the bus station for no reason <laughs> now we're walking back because we live closer to the volcano from there taking the uber will actually be cheaper but this morning has not been very successful but we have stumbled across a nice park here there's actually a public pool but today's a cooler morning i would be fine but natalie would be chilly in the water but everyone in the water is actually wearing a t-shirt. Well, we're back where we started. Since we're here, I might as well show you where we're staying. Here's our beautiful place. This is for 40 Canadian dollars a night. It's like, what, 30 US? And we got the bedroom, and then the bathroom. And then we also have a backyard, which is nice. There's a washer, which is great. And then we have a place to hang our clothes, which is great. So we could dry it. For 40 bucks Canadian, that's cheap. You can't really complain. And it is a big space. Now we're gonna have some breakfast since we've received the gift of time. And we'll show you how the hike looks soon enough. We just saw bus 209. We just passed that. So I guess it's that much slower. We're able to eat breakfast and all of that. So you're able to save a lot of time if you're taking an Uber. So there are quite a bit of stops though to get here to El Congo, but then after there's not so many stops. Unfortunately, Natalie gets motion sickness in the car. How do you feel? I feel like shit. Stop. <laughs> Is it that bad? Uh, yeah. Fortunately, I don't get car sickness. I never have, so I actually don't know the feeling. What is it, more like just nausea? Yeah. Like, you feel like you want to throw up? Yeah, the whole time. Uh, the whole time. And the only way you can avoid it is by sleeping <laughs> or driving. Yeah. What I... if you sit in the passenger and look out the window the whole time? No, I have to be driving. You have to be driving. That's so strange. What, what, That's why I like driving. Why is it different? if you drive and don't drive. I don't know, sense of control or distraction maybe. Mm. Natalie can't even read or look at her phone that makes in the it car. Worse. Makes it worse, yeah. Whoever has uh, motion sickness, put it down in the comments below. Let us know how you deal with it so Natalie can deal with it a bit better. Yeah, help a sister out. <laughs> so this is where we pay. This is the entrance to Cerro Verde National Park. Oh, is wow. Natalie feeling okay? By the way, it's three US dollars per person. So six total for us and we get a ticket too. This is the entrance. It's pretty informal. What do you mean informal? There's pylons and a guy stopping I thought there you. would be a dude. Yeah, I get, Never mind. I'm wrong. Look, what is this? Octopus? That's cool. I like it. Here we got a restaurant. Guys, check out this beautiful view. This is an absolutely stunning view. <laughs> this camera doesn't do it justice. You gotta come here yourself. This is the volcano that we're going up. You do a hike down and then up. This looks amazing. Wow. And you didn't want to come today. She was lazy because she's still tired from the Santana volcano. It was an easy hike, but... <laughs> so bad. But this is beautiful. What a beautiful view. Wow. Here's the parking lot if you take a car. There's a hotel. Por el salco. Salco eh hasta la 10:45. Sí. Sale el tour, pero tiene que haber un mínimo de 12 personas para que pueda salir la caminata. 4, entonces son 6. Okay. Ya solo nos falta la otra mitad. Y sale a ove motivo no sale la caminata por calle Salco. Eh otra opción sería un tour privado. Aquí es directamente solo para ustedes dos y se sale a cualquier hora del día antes de las 11 de la mañana que es la hora límite okay. pero si gustan pueden esperar 
tal vez vienen más personas. Sí, más esperar ¿verdad? por más personas. Entonces, están atentos, nosotros nos hemos llamado por el megáfono para reunir el grupo, ¿verdad? Ok, ¿Ah? perfecto. Okay. Okay. We have 10.45 ten, No, 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 but we need to wait for more people. Yeah. Because it's a minimum of two people per the group. Yeah. But it, us. Us, but we but we can wait for more. Okay. So unless we, we want to pay, yeah, right? pay private. private. Okay, it's not being put. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And he'll call y, off the megaphone. Yes. ¿Tú sabes muchas personas aquí hoy o no? En general hay pocas. So I'm actually getting better at Spanish. I understood quite a bit of what he you was did. saying. Good job. Yeah. I can't. I barely could speak, but like I he could. He was speaking slowly. He though. was speaking very slowly. Like, I even picked up on a couple things yeah. but I still needed Robert's so, help. I'm happy I'm actually improving. I just need to put myself out there more and just talk to people. That's really how you're gonna learn. This tree house, you gonna go up? Of course. The view is probably gonna be nice. You up? Let's see where I can fit. We're almost breaking the tree as soon as you entered. Well I am a hundred kilos so I wonder how much this tree can take. We got a tree house selfie right here. I'm having a hard time balancing. Don't move so much, please. Stop, stop. That's not even funny. <laughs> Come on. You always tell me not to worry about things and then the tree shakes a little bit and you get worried. Well, no, this is just asking for something to happen. That's probably true. Check out over here. There's more trees. We have another guy just popped out of there. You know what? It is cooler today though, but for me, it's good. For Natalie, not so much. No bueno. But I did bring my sweater just in case. Check out all of these volcanoes in the background. They're so, it's so mountainous here. Even further, if you can see in the distance, past this range, there's a further one even behind it. And you could even see the Pacific. Over there is the Pacific Ocean. I did read this online that you're able to see the Pacific from here. It's nice to actually see it. And I think from Isalco, the view will be even better because it's not, you know, it's closer and there's not so much in front of us. It's a bluebird day, there's no clouds. A textbook bluebird day. This is our way back down. Here's this little park, the waiting area. Nice stuff for the kids. I think a lot of people just, they'll come here to see the views and they won't necessarily do the hike. Oh, don't bite me. <laughs> this one's nice. That one was a bit more mean. There's a restaurant here. Bistro Cafe. Oh, I just heard the guy in the announcement. So I think it's time to go for the hike. Vamos. Depending on the amount of people there are, it might be cheaper or more money. We were told it's gonna be $6 per person. And also it's an eight kilometer trek. And it should take about four hours. It is steep. It's, you know, harder than a Santana volcano. We'll see how it goes. We're going, got a few more people. <laughs> We paid six dollars per person. It has warmed up a little and yet I still have on my sweater. Probably gonna take it off. So we need a key to get in and here's the entrance. So more people are gonna join us apparently. Does that mean I get a cheaper rate? Because Robert the, owes me money. The He's money's gone now. There's no cheaper rate He's anymore. He's been taking from the candy shop. Oh yeah. Natalie pulled out some cash. I didn't. But the sugar and train I've been, ends here. I've been milking it. You gotta walk down before you walk up. It's nice here. This is beautiful here though. Nice and calm. Peaceful. Uh, Tranquilo. Apparently this smoke that comes out of the volcano. Oh yeah? Yeah. So I feel like it's pretty dangerous because it could probably erupt at any time. Well, is it is it active? Yeah. It Why is. else would there be smoke coming out of okay. it? Okay. The ground might be hot too when we're when we're actually on the volcano. We shall see. I love hiking though. I love being out in nature. I love this. I like urban environments too, but for me this is I love this. I love doing this. We were supposed to leave at 1045. That's when like the schedule is. It's a weekday. It's a Tuesday. There's not as many people and we actually ended up leaving like 1115, 1120. You're just waiting for more and more people and a car actually drove up a uh, family and they just parked the car on the road. They're like, okay, we're coming. We'll see how they do. It really just depends how, how big the group is and how many people show up at, you know, before 1045. So if we did take the bus, we would be waiting here. If we took the 209, we would have got here at like probably 945. So we'd be waiting for minimum an hour and a half. So at least we got to avoid that when we made our mistakes in the morning. I was like down better than up, but I don't like to start a hike where we're going down first. Guys, Natalie is about to show you oh my God. what happened. 
Natalie's about to show you how much she cares about you. Natalie, catch the audience. Whoa. Professional baseball catcher. I'm not tired yet, so that's good. The only thing about starting downhill is that when you're tired and you're at the end of the hike, you gotta go up. I personally would rather start up, get the hardest part over with, but I have no say. I do actually hate going downhill. I prefer to go uphill. I feel like it's harder on your joints downhill. to go downhill. Just my own opinion. You have to have more control, right? Because with your muscles. So I feel like uphill is just much easier. I come from playing an explosive sport. So maybe that's why uphill you have to like explode up using your muscles. Whereas downhill, you gotta go slow and controlled. The worst part is all these leaves. They're super slippery. So you have to have good shoes with good grip on them. I already slipped a couple times, just minor. And I have good hiking shoes, so you gotta watch out. I also did leg day yesterday and my quads were already sore. So this is not helping. The lactic acid buildup is real right now. Now they didn't even want to come today. No, I wanted to be lazy today. It was Robert who wanted to. But I have FOMO, so Robert's like, I'm going. I'm like, if you're not going, I'm going by myself. And because I have FOMO, I was like, fine, I'll go. I won't be lazy. It's our last full day here. It's getting hotter down here too. I took off my sweater. Not so cold anymore. Natalie was in Chile anymore. Oh, I almost tripped there. Oh, there's some volcanic rock already. Oh, I think we're done. Mint. Oh, finally. Oh, nice. look at this. That's sick. This is gonna be a bitch to climb. Hang on. Da, da, da. Wow. Aren't you happy you came here? Huh? Yeah, this is cool. You would be chopped. Whoa. We're gonna go all the way to the top there and we can walk around. We got some cop friends here. I think Hermosa. the path is this way. This way, huh? And then choo, 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 choo. right there. Super excited. Looks really hard. Is it hot? No. Maybe a bit, feel it. Oh, it's With a bit the, warm, but it's That not could like... be just from the sun. It's yeah, right that's on the sun true. and it's black. This looks like Lord of the Rings right here. Look at it, it looks like Mordor. This is so cool. This is awesome. And we couldn't have got better weather today. Beautiful bluebird day. Pero polaco. El canadiense también, pero padres es polaco. Y yo, yo, uh, checo y oh, slovenco mi padre. Y habla francés. No, 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 solo, solo inglés y polski. Y uh, checo y un poco español. <laughs> <laughs> this is the youngest volcano in all of El Salvador. 300 years old. 300 años, ¿sí? We're going to take a picture with the group. Para que se note la diferencia. Corriendo, pues. Gracias. Let's go, vamos. Momento. He has to talk to the police. Okay. Rápido, rápido. Oh, 30 minutos. 40. Oh, 40. Okay. Todo caminar tres horas. Tres o tres y media. This is cool. This volcanic rock. This is uh, honestly potentially cooler than Santa Ana volcano. And it's much less visited here. I guess it's so popular there. Uh, first of all, it's closer. And second of all, there's that sulfur lake. But this, this is amazing. I've never seen anything like this. This is epic. I'm in my element. They have markings. There was two white lines there to show that you're going in the right direction. Oh, a little bit of a pitch and I'm already out of breath. See, white markings. Yo, man, I always think I'm in shape. And then I start these hikes and I quickly realize how out of shape I am. Oh, maybe a water break. Halfway there. No, not halfway. And this hike will be harder. It looks like halfway. This is amazing. Beautiful. Yo, let me get some. One thing, I recover quickly. I'm good now, but the minute I'll start hiking, I'll be begged again. <laughs> But that's, I just had a little bit of water and I'm good. I'm not too different in that. I think that's the volleyball because you got to go really hard for a few seconds and then you get a break. Then you go really hard again, then you get a break. So it's like intervals. This is the terrain. Who needs the gym when you have a volcano in your backyard? All right, enough talking. I need all the help I can get. Enough vlogging, more hiking. More thing to know, the guy just said the cops are here all the time. All day. All day. You can't just hike this yourself. Yeah, you need a guide, otherwise you'll get stopped. That's a volcano from San Salvador, and then 
beyond that, there's more volcanoes. Chin Chinchon. Chinchon Tepec. Chinchon Tepec. Chinchon Tepec. Say that five times fast. Chinchon Tepec. Chinchon. And here's the terrain. This definitely takes more effort than the Santana volcano. It's steeper, more rocks. It's like walking up steep stairs almost. It's volcanic rock. But since this group is fast, our guide was saying we could have like 20, 30 minutes up top for photos, for filming, whatever. So that's good. I guess if you want a faster group, it might be better to come during the week since there might be less people. But it also depends on the shape that the people are in that come on that day, obviously. It's just luck. It just depends. Robert's begged. This one's way harder. Robert's falling Fine. behind this time. Okay. Look how steep this is. Very steep. Here is Santana Volcano. This, we had to essentially hike, I think it's from that area? No, it's actually, sorry, up here. So we had to hike from the top all the way down and then up, like a half pipe. <laughs> On the way back down, we have to hike up again, which is kind of shitty. So the ones in the far distance, after this mountain range, so behind it, that's Volcan de Fuego, Acatenango, and Guatemala. And Agua. And Agua. Volcan de Agua. So that's near Antigua. We were there in our earlier videos from earlier this year, if you want to check those out. Acatenango es muy difícil. Si, es muy difícil. Frío también. Si, dicen que la temperatura anda hasta en menos seis, en menos dos grados. En la noche. Si, si, si. Si, si, Y lograron ver las erupciones de, de fuego. Check out how steep this is. This reminds me of Acatenango, this hike. It's only there. It's not that far in the distance. Queen of the mountain. Let's see those muscles. Gotta slow down the heart rate. We gotta follow the white markings. Our guide has sent us on our own now, so we gotta figure it out. He's only like 10 meters away, waiting for the other people. If you guys could see, there's steam coming out of here because this volcano is active. If you can see it, yeah, you can see it with the camera. It's so cool. I've never seen that before. And it's hot. You could feel it. The rocks are hot. More steam here. We're almost at the summit. I think I see it. See the sweat on my forehead? Wow. Oh my God. You guys gotta see this, hold on. Check it out. Beautiful. Let's check out the steam that way. Honestly, this feels so much like the Lord of the Rings. Like Mordor, when they're gonna destroy the ring. But Smeagol bites it out of uh, Frodo's hand. But then Smeagol falls to his death after they push him into the volcano. Let's check out this steam. Oh, you can feel the heat. Holy shit. Look at it. Look at the steam coming out. That's insane. This could explode at any moment. It is active after all. You don't see any lava or anything, but it's it's active underneath and you can see the steam everywhere. This is so amazing. I really do recommend coming to El Salvador. The past is the past with the violence and the gangs. It's safe now and it is beautiful. It's a beautiful place to be and the people are even nicer. I made it. This is pretty epic. This is so cool and dangerous because it's an active volcano. I love nature, love nature. Look at the view. I'm in the middle of a volcano, an active one. Oh, let's go up there. I need to conserve energy. Wow, that's pretty epic. Entendí que para mí amar no es lo mismo para otros. Quiero mucho más que eso. Dices que tú no podías más que eras de mí. Yo no tengo espacio para otra cicatriz más. Yeah, yeah. Espero que esta sea la última vez. Pero seamos sinceros que no aprendo nada de nada yeah. Es que me da lo que sé Yo fui el primero Ni seré el último Ni seré el último Rompiste mi corazón No fui el primero Ni seré el último Ni seré el último Rompiste mi corazón yeah, yeah, yeah. 
took a bit longer with the drone footage. We always think we could get everything. So we're gonna walk around this way and check it out. Let's hurry up and run though. So we could get all of this. Beautiful views. Amazing. If you come here, you gotta go around this way. You have to, it's so amazing. Look at this beautiful scenery. But oh, we gotta be quick. And if you fall, it's a long way down. It's on you. You gotta be very careful here, very careful. Oh, these guys are exploring inside, so we got some time. This is tremendous, tremendous. Bluebird day, tremendous views. And this is really, truly amazing. Breathtaking, honestly. Which volcano would I recommend? Both, honestly. If you only could choose one, yeah, I agree, Santana, because of the Sulphur Lake. I think I would take this one. I don't know. I think that Sulphur Lake is like a one in a million type thing. All right, let's get back so we don't piss off our guy too much. I'm sure he gets this all the time, people wanting to see more and spend a bit more time. That's to be expected. But again, I recommend this so much. It's so beautiful. It's like truly, truly breathtaking. And look at this volcanic ash. Especially in Central America, there's so many volcanoes. This whole region is so mountainous. Like, look at these mountain ranges everywhere. And a lot of them are, are active. Even, I think it was 2006. I think it was Acatenango that erupted. A few people even died. Definitely an interesting part of the world that I recommend seeing. A truly as amazing, beautiful nature as you can see. Let's start making our descent. Our descent down to the bottom and then our ascent back to the top where we started. Now for the descent. But we have to be very careful. He said one meter distance from each person. Just if anybody falls, the rocks are loose and he's just keeping an eye if everyone's okay. He said no filming, but I'm gonna film anyway. I gotta do it for you guys. This isn't too bad. You gotta be very careful. Very, very careful. Take it slow. Don't go crazy. Oh, see, I just fell. Little bit. I wasn't paying attention and I fell. All right. Did you fall? You fell. I fell there too. I fell, but I caught, I fell like this. Oh. And then I squatted up. Oh, nice. There was a rock there that tumbled down. That oh, yeah, yeah. Y tu camina cuatro días por todo semana. semana. Oh, sí. wow. Es mucho. Sí. Tu uh, es muy fuerte. <laughs> ya llevo este dos años y medio. That's a lot. Much harder on the way down, for sure. That's why I like this. Yeah, but up is an incline and it's hard. You're more prone to injury on this for sure, but it doesn't take, it doesn't require as much cardio. I'd rather more cardio. I actually almost slipped there. Again, there are rocks that look like they're stable and then they're not. If you do come here, come with good shoes, come with high socks. This does remind me of Acatenango though, the uh, going down part because the ground is so loose. So I was just talking with the guide and he said there's 175 volcanoes in all of El Salvador and 10 of them are active. This one, obviously the one we just hiked up is active. Santa Ana over there and then eight more. 175, that's a lot of volcanoes. So it's a very mountainous country here. We've been sent on our own now. And the bus stop is at the, uh, the front, like the entrance of the national park you're not gonna get an uber here anyway i'll see you in the forest soon enough vamos vamos so how does it feel descending painful hurting on the knees so much now since we've made it past mordor and we're gonna go back up into the trees i wonder how long that will take because it was at least 30 minutes going down now the ascent going up this is gonna be tough actually can you do it you can do it my legs are toast you're not gonna make it I need a water break. <sighs> Natalie. Hey, I was leading the whole pack on the way up there. Yeah, you were. There's you... video evidence. There is. It's recorded. Documented and recorded. Natalie gets bagged. So amazing here though. Like look at this beautiful nature. Wow. <laughs> oh, did you ding your melon? No. Are you okay? Shouldn't laugh at that. It's not funny. No. I've done it a lot of times in my life. Um, Oh, I like jammed my neck. Oh shit, that hurts. You'll be okay. This trek back up, it's exhausting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm done. This is definitely the hardest part. Before, you know, we had more, we had more energy. Now I'm just completely toast walking up these steps. This is how much Natalie loves you guys. Oh, oh, right on my face. I think I see the light. I think I see the road. Oh, it disappeared. Well, never mind. I'm hoping it's not that much longer. 
you're strong. You gotta think it, you gotta believe it. Robert's way behind. He did better for that Akatanango hike, but I'm number one for this hike. And I think it's cause I do leg day like two to three times a week. So these steps are no problem, but this guy, only works out upper body. Hey, legs like once every two weeks. I do legs once a week. Don't believe him. That's all that's needed. All right, enough talking. I need my oxygen oh. to breathe. I feel like I've been climbing for days. I'm toast. We yeah. still probably have quite a bit We left. have a long way to go. It was easy up until this part. So before we left for this trip, I missed out on a workout called Chad, which is a thousand step ups. But who needs a box and who needs to do that workout when you have nature's Chad workout? All these steps. I think I did about a thousand of them. What do you think? Are we done? I see the light. My voice cracked. The light at the end of the tunnel. Hammer out the last few steps. Get this over with. Bah. Bah. Oh, Dad, how do you feel? I'm exhausted. That was a proper hike. I was harder than Santana, 100% away Here's harder. the gate. Well, we made it. That's it for Volcano Izalco. It was pretty tough. Would you do it again? Like, I, I think I, I, I would. I, I would. I don't need to. I've done it already, but... I think I would. Whereas, like, Akatanango was super hard, and once is enough. Yeah, yeah. Lifetime. Okay, okay. For In that perspective, yes, I would do it then, to be honest. But yeah, anyways, still difficult. You still need to be in pretty good shape. You're going down first, so you just know the ending's gonna suck. Yeah. <laughs> And it did suck. And we, we even thought, we're like, did we miss it? Did we pass it? Did we pass the exit? We saw no light at the end of the tunnel. But finally, we've made it. It's like my legs were on autopilot, just trying to like push through. Anyways, that's it. Still beautiful, still epic. Wow, the views from up top. Incredible. Do it if you come here. We recommend. This in Santana, for sure. Yes. On that note, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Este mundo es así, baby, no es culpa mía